Okay guys, so here's a short video on Mullerian anomalies that you need to know. So there are seven different classes of Mullerian anomalies that we need to learn. Firstly, let us understand what is a Mullerian duct. Mullerian duct is otherwise called as paramesonephric duct guys. So already there is a video on this channel which describes about all these Mullerian derivatives mesonephric derivatives how to differentiate between paramesonephric mesonephric and genital tubercle every other uh, uh, origin of genital system is mentioned in a video in this channel itself guys once search for that you can find it easily or else i'll provide you the link in the end of this video so firstly let us understand about the mullerian ducts so there are two mullerian ducts in female body which fuse together which fuse together to form uterine cavity and these are the fallopian tubes this is the uterine cavity and this is the cervix and this is the vagina so in that vagina you have to remember that only upper part of vagina is from mullerian duct or the paramesonephric duct whereas lower part of vagina is derived from endoderm that is urogenital sinus guys that is an important point that lower part of vagina is from urogenital sinus whereas up till the upper part that is fallopian tube, uterine cavity, cervix and upper part of vagina are from mullerian ducts that are otherwise called as paramesonephric duct. So whenever there is an anomaly regarding this fusion or formation or the entire process of development of this genital system that is called as mullerian anomaly guys. So now we are going to learn about these anomalies in detail. Let me erase this mess for you and uh, understand this table further. So firstly, let us learn the classes guys. So first one is for A, that is A genesis guys. So Mullerian anomaly class 1 is for A genesis or uterine hypoplasia. Let me change the color, I didn't like the color, yeah. And coming to class 2, see from to roman number two i have made u okay so uniconate uterus is type two sorry for the disturbance in the volume guys some dog is shouting out so i cannot help it please uh, let me complete this video coming to the third one uh, uterine didelphis see in roman number three you got two different compartments two different rooms right so didelphis so two compartments of uterus are uh, fit into this roman number three Coming to 4, 4 is for biconvate uterus and 5 looks like S, right? So, 5 is septate. 5 is septate and 6 is arcuate. You can make 6 out of C, right? You can make 6 out of C. So, 6 is arcuate and 7 is diethyl stelbestrol. 7 is having the lengthiest name. So, largest number in this class is and lengthiest name is for class 7. Okay. So this completes the classes that you have to remember. 1 is for A, 2 is for uni, 3 is for didelphis, 4 is biconvate, 5 looks like S septate and 6 is C from 6 that is arcuate and uh, lengthiest name is diethyl stelbestrol drug related anomaly that is 7. Now let us see what's happening in each, uh, each different anomaly. So first one is uterine hypoplasia or uterine agenesis that is underdevelopment or non-development of paramesonephric duct that is otherwise called as Mullerian duct. So here I have drawn a small diagram to understand to make you understand what all develops from a Mullerian duct that is fallopian tube, cervix, upper part of vagina and uterus. So coming to uni unicornial uterus, non-developed paramesonephric duct. See one side it is non-developed whereas one side duct is normal. So you will get one uterine cavity, one cervix and one vagina. But only on the single side. That's why uniconvate. Coming to the third one, uterine diadelphis. Because of unfused ducts, unfused mullerian or paramesonephric ducts. Because of that, you will have two compartments, right? Diadelphis. That is uterine diadelphis. Coming to biconvate uterus, only lower part is fused, guys. See here, you can see here, only lower part is fused. Whereas upper part is separate still. So that is biconvate uterus. Coming to septate uterus, septa of the fused part persists. After the fusion usually the septa disappears. But here if the septa is still remnant that is called as septate uterus. And coming to arcuate uterus there is a small indentation in the upper part. Look at here. There is a small indentation in the upper part that is called as arcuate uterus. And DES is T-shaped uterus shortened and narrowed fallopian tube cervical collars 
which is having coxcomb cervix so this is the description of diethyl stelvestrol related and coming to the diethyl stelvestrol guys you have one important question here whenever a female uses diethyl stelvestrol or whenever a female is exposed to des there is an important uh, uh, carcinoma that develops that is clear cell adenocarcinoma of cervix develops in that female and coming to the treatment part for the first since the female is not having uterus itself there is an agenesis if she has to opt for surrogacy like infertility treatment surrogacy and vaginoplasty or vaginal hypoplasia for vaginal hypoplasia complications is infertility coming to the second one that is unicornate uterus excision of the rudimentary horn if any see this side is totally developed and this said if any rudimentary horn like uh, small undeveloped part is there that horn is to be removed and the complications are like uterine rupture abortions risk of miscarriage malpresentation and preterm delivery coming to the third one that is uterine didelphis uh, here we can do uh, like metroplasty which can be both like hysteroscopy or open open is called as strassman's metroplasty here is also uh, there is a risk of miscarriage malpresentation and preterm delivery coming to the biconiate uterus metroplasty in the selected cases is done same like same complications everywhere coming to septate uterus here comes an important question what is the treatment for septate uterus is frequently asked that is hysteroscopic septate septal resection is the best answer and here also same like infertility miscarriage and all coming to arcuate uterus there is a small indentation in the upper zone coming to diethyl stelvestrol as already discussed clear cell carcinoma is an important part here so yeah guys this completes the uh, malarian anomalies uh, everything that you need to know i have uh, added this hysterosalpingography images also because sometimes you get image based questions from this malarian anomaly hope this helps you thank you